Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's the El Toro Fuerte, and I am bringing you a quick review of the new structure deck, Rocket Revolt. So, as you can see back here, this is the play mat that we've got on here that we're doing this on. A little change up from my normal Oracalcos, and then we've got the instruction manual and the little dual links nonsense that comes with it. But uh, I'm sure some of you, or uh, many of you, have already seen the deck. It's been out for a few days and videos are going viral all over YouTube and everywhere else showing the deck um, so um, so yeah so that being said you know let's take a look at the Boral Fusion Dragon card here uh, looks like it'll be pretty interesting there is a polymerization inside the deck to help bring this guy out and it's only two dark dragon monsters for a 3000 3000 beat stick here with a pretty cool effect then we've got the top of logics Zero Boros right here. So another shiny link monster to affect monsters 3000 attack that is nuts and the effect is actually not too bad so you cannot Summon set monsters to any Extra monster zone this card points to gain 200 attack for each banished card if another monster is special summoned to a zone a link monster points to while this monster is on the field, banish all cards on the field once per turn during the standby phase of your next turn. After this card was banished by its own effect, special summon this banished card. Wow, that's uh, that's intense. So you got to be careful how you use that that one there. Uh, so then you've got the Quad Boral Dragon card right here. Very nice. Another one. Two dragon monsters, including a rocket monster for 1,000 attack. You can discard one card, then target one face-up monster on the field. You cannot special summon link two or lower monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Also, destroy the targeted monster. Then, if it was link monster, you can special summon any number of rocket monsters with different names from your hand or graveyard up to its link rating. You can only use this effect of Quad World Dragon once per turn. Interesting. Sorry about the light glare there. I'm trying to read and hold it in the right spot. It's a little bit darker than normal, and uh, I had to have used uh, the actual electrical lights rather than the natural light that comes in normal on the videos. Anyhow, moving forward, Zero Day Blaster we've got there, and that is Tribute 1 Dark Link Monster, then target cards on the field equal to its link rating. Destroy them. I like it. Like it a lot. We've got the Abzo Router Dragon. Hope I said that right. If not, someone will correct me and I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, we got a dragon effect, 1200 attack, 2800 defense. Very nice. If you control a rocket monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon this guy once per turn this way. If this card was in the graveyard, you can add one rocket monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. And he is dark. So there you go. Quick, quick way to get some of those links out. And we've got the Silver Rocket Dragon. Very nice artwork there. He's also a Dark Dragon Effect, 1900, level 4. So, very cool looking deck. Loving these cards. The artwork is amazing on them. Rocket Tracer, another Dark Dragon Tuner, level 4 Tuner. I like it. Quick effect, you can target one face-up card. You control destroy it and if you do special summon one rocket monster from your deck except rocket tracer also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except dark monsters you can only expect once per turn oh man all right and we've got the rocket recharger dragon effect 2100 defense zero attack level four so um i'm not going to read every card to you i'm going to hold it there if you want to pause the video and, and kind of get a good reading for it. I apologize again the light the glaring is is coming through a lot worse than it normally does because I'm actually using my inside lights right now because it is later in the day. Keeper of the Shrine, level 4, dark dragon, another one no attack, 2100 defense, but this card can be tribute used as true tribute for the tribute summon of a dragon monster. Very nice and it has some additional effects in there. So it looks like this is this is really uh, gonna be a way to get these guys out very quickly get these big strong monsters out as well as the fusion monsters Raid in hand of the light sworn warrior tuner. That is a level 4 warrior tuner with 1700 attack very cool effect We've got the defrag dragon 
Dark level 3 dragon, 1000 attack, 600 defense. You can special summon this card from your hand by sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard. You can only special summon this guy once we turn this way. If this card is in the graveyard, you can banish three monsters from your graveyard with the same name except Defrag Dragon. Special summon this card. You can only use effect once per turn. Wow, yeah, I am definitely not going to read every card to you guys. Background Dragon, Dark level what do we got one two three four five stars dragon effect 1600 attack 1800 defense ah this card is in graveyard and you control monsters you can special summon both this card and one level four lower dragon monster from your hand in defense position but banish this card when it leaves field wow lots of cool ways to get these guys out got a normal monster right here labradorite dragon he's a tuner wow interesting these are these are these are getting kind of cool all right, Paladin of Felgrand. Light, what do we got? Level four, 700 attack, 300 defense. Warrior with another effect to help get these dragons. Yeah, man, this is gonna be cool. Now, I saw the uh, Team APS $30 deck where they put three of these together. Very cool, probably a good idea. Um, I'm curious to see if any of you can come up with something good with this right here. Auto Rocket Dragon Dark, level 3, Dragon, 1600 attack, 1000 defense. Uh, another effect that has to do with Link Monster's effect being activated. Magna Rocket Dragon, level 4, Dark, 1800 attack, 1200 defense. And this, we got another one here, so we got two of those. We've got the Metal Rocket Dragon here. That's a cool looking one there. All right, very cool. Uh, Rocket Synchron. Another tuner, this is a level one tuner. Gateway Dragon. And for those of you who were, for those of, wow, really? For those of you who were on earlier and saw my failed attempt at a live stream, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, to be honest with you. Uh, I just realized that uh, in order to live stream from a mobile device, you need to have at least a thousand subscribers. So I am um, kind of bouncing back and forth between 199 and 200, which is phenomenal, by the way. I never thought I'd get there. But uh, I think I've gone from 199 200 back to 199 to 200 and now I'm currently at 199 again, so it's kind of funny. Um, doesn't matter to me, you know, I'd love to get to 1,000 eventually, but uh, if it never happens, it doesn't. I'm not trying to make a career out of YouTube, I'm just having fun, trying to get better at my video editing skills, movie making, camera, all that fun stuff. So it's a work in progress, YouTube is more of a platform for me to learn and hone that craft, but as well as... Um, Talk about my favorite game here, Yu-Gi-Oh! And give stuff away to all of you so you can whoop on your friends and family members the way I do. So, alright, especially my oldest son, Vegeta. Red Reboot, nice counter trap there. I like it. And of course, the Mirror Force, one of my old favorites. Boral Supplier. Continuous Spell Card. Rapid trigger, quick play. Fusion someone infusion from your extra deck. I like it. Alright, squib draw another quick play there. Target one rocket monster control, destroy it. And if you do draw two cards, you can only activate one per turn. Quick launch. Whew. Excellent, excellent deck. So this is this is exciting. I'm actually gonna throw these in some sleeves here and test it out against a couple other decks that we have here. Uh, against my son Vegeta and uh, you can hear them in the background arguing with each other little Kakarot's uh, bossing them around polymerization return of the dragon lords All right dragon shrine everybody knows what that does twin twisters little spell trap removal and ooh, this is this is what I'm talking about right here. Common Boral Load Dragon. I think in my previous uh, videos I said Boral Sword. I apologize. Wishful thinking, right? But I'll take a Common Boral Load Dragon. Triple Burst Dragon. Nice and a Booster Dragon. All right, everybody. So there you have it. This deck is all over the place right here. I'm gonna have to organize it again. Um, again, if I'm not able to do the live stream, I apologize. Uh, I, my intention was to interact with all of you and uh, do another box opening of the uh, Battles of Legend 
Heroes Revenge and do some live giveaways. If it doesn't happen, I'll do another video. We'll do the giveaways. Um, we won't, we, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I'll probably do the the giveaway fairly quickly. Uh, maybe maybe a couple days turnaround time. And on that, if I'm not able to live stream, so please follow me on Instagram. That's the the quickest and easiest way for me to communicate with all of you. Um, so, anyways, on to this deck real quick here. I will be giving away three. Yeah, three, three, one, two, one, two, three. We'll be giving away three of these on the YouTube channel. And uh, so basically what I want to do is I want to spread it out over a period of three weeks. So what we'll do is we'll give away one next week. And then the following week we'll do another one. And then the third week we'll do the final one on the YouTube channel. And so we'll kick things off here on this video. To be eligible, all you got to do is comment. And tell me how you got started on, on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! How, how did you get started on this game? How, how were you introduced to it? I think it's interesting to hear all the different stories about that. And so I'm curious and, and anxious to, to read how you all got started. And you will be eligible for that. And I'll do a, a drawing via... Via, I'll probably do a quick video on YouTube. Uh, if not, then I'll do a, a, maybe a, um, an actual video of the drawing happening on Instagram so you all can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it that way. And then for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, we will uh, I'll be doing giving them a, a few away uh, on there. Um, so as you know, I do reach out to some of you who follow me occasionally, just randomly pick you uh, with my app and message you real quick and ask you if you'd like a you know a couple cards or whatnot and most of you said yes and we send them all out so i'll probably be doing the same thing with these texts so i've got some for youtube some for instagram but for all of you so that's the goal uh, if you do win one on the youtube channel uh, you will not be eligible for the other decks uh, one way or another I'll figure it out and uh, hopefully we can all everybody can you know three different people will win and, and everybody will be happy uh, eventually my goal will be to be like the Oprah Winfrey of, of Yu-Gi-Oh and I'll have a deck for you and a deck for you and you get a structure deck and you get one and it'll be a lot of fun so um, yeah so everybody thanks again look forward to uh, giving these away and we will see you all in the very near future take care